hello 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 and welcome to my introductory video to my template um so today i am going to be talking about the template i created for meeting notes on this lovely work app called workflowy right and um i just really wanted you to see my content why i structured the way i structured my template and probably even give you like a working example of it. So as you can see right here, we have the first or the first thing you're going to see when you get my link, right? Click down and you'll see this structure here, which is me just showing uh, the day and the topic of the meeting. So usually you probably play as like, well, today is April 19th, so you want April 19th, and today we're going to be talking about the budget. So you can edit right here and say, right? And that is going to be our topic for this page you click the toggle arrow again and it takes you to the page or you could just click that button and it takes you to the complete page but i like working in the compact um the compact page so this is how i'm going to film the rest of the video as you can see i have changed it from bullet to board setting because i think the board setting is uh, a little bit easier to work with in in, in um this template so I have two main category boards. I have board members present and I have notes. And under each category, I have subcategories. So for the members, and uh, for the board members present, I have names and positions. So you could type Tim Horton or Wendy McBurger or Colonel Jones, and you can use a dash to separate the name from the position. So maybe Wendy is an assistant. And Tim is a manager. Right? And you have it listed here. It's very easy to see, easy access. And it gives you um, a really concise but also very simple example of what happened in the meeting today. Right? Uh, and for the departments and the committees present, you can also use a dash. Dash is very versatile, by the way. You can use a dash to demonstrate a list. It can be the point in a list. So I've used it here to list the departments present at the committee meeting. So today we have accounting, management, and HR, right? And then when you're finished with the board present, remember it's, it's a flexible template, so you can add or subtract depending on your needs for this template but this is how i think of it this is how i structure my meeting notes so yeah and uh, i go over going over to the notes section i separate the meeting into three categories apologies usually people can go back and reference apologies and use it in performance reports among other things especially within a business so I think it's very vital for you to have a list at least of the persons who gave an apology for their absence. Oh, and keeping in mind, you can also even add a section that says absences. Right? And under that, if you select here and you select add note, then you can note that kitty. James was absent today, right? You come over to notes now, and if you have the apologies for the absences or for lateness, then you can list who gave an apology, right? And then underneath that, you'll have the topics of discussion. Topics of discussion sometimes are based on the minutes from the meetings before, and you, this is rather versatile. You can add paragraphs you can copy and paste into this so it, it's it's not as restrictive as people make it out to be um and you know it gives you a synopsis of what was covered in the class 
but not on like a separate page by itself. You can just look at the arrangement we have here and see exactly what was done in the meeting, exactly who was there, why they were there, what was spoken about. Everything is right here at the tips of your fingers. Um, and lastly, we have decisions and concluding remarks. Now, I think that this last section here is very important because sometimes when you want to take a quick glance of any meeting notes, this is, you know exactly where to go because everything has a section. If there's something specific that you're looking for, it's labeled and it's right here in front of you because of the way that the board setting is set up. So you have easy access to all this information. And that's the end of my template. <laughs>